Oh, where's your where's your cam? Where's my what? Your camera? What camera? You're not on. Your camera's not on. Oh shoot. It's not? I... No, it's 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 off. I can see myself. Really? I, I don't I don't see you. Okay, let's uh it just it just has the the camera that's like not yeah, it's it, I don't oh. see you. Oh damn, that's weird. So this whole time you thought I saw you? I yeah, you. man. I was wondering. I was wondering if you're trying to hide a haircut or something, man. Like, damn. Nah, nothing. Uh, nothing special. No, because like on uh, my end, I can I could see it, but. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's try it. It. Okay. Can you see me now? No, it's still having the the camera. I'm, you want me a screenshot for you? Here, a screenshot. On my end, on my end, I can see it. I don't know why. On your end, yeah, I'll screenshot it for you. I'll send it to your direct message here. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see it. I'm I'm logged into your account. No direct message on oh, oh. Discord. Yeah, Discord. Okay. Uh I don't know, dude. Let's see. I think it's probably the settings on Discord, because I can see it on my end. All right, I'll show you the picture that I, what I see. Damn, bro, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what I said. This, this is so annoying, dude. Cool, man. Well, uh, we're live, you know. Um, dude, are you sure it's not a, a setting on your end? Let me check. Right, right click uh, my face and then see if uh, you've uh, turned off my Damn. camera. I see, yeah, I see it on, on here too. Yeah. Um, let me, let me double check. Welcome, everybody. While we're trying to figure this out, uh, Thursday. The Make It Rain podcast live every 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today, you know, your hosts, as always, Peter Yang and Frankie Yang. Your co host slash another host, Frankie Mary Yang. <laughs> main host guys? slash co host. <laughs> I'm main host slash co host too, dog. <laughs> uh. um, I, I still don't see you on my end. I'm not sure why. Um, okay, you want to you want to make sure my audio works on the uh, on the Facebook live? Yeah, let me double check that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely. You wanna, you wanna, audio works on the, uh, oh, okay, I can hear myself. Yeah, let me double check that. Yeah, we definitely. Audio works on the. Okay, I can hear myself. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right, cool, man. Sounds good, man. Uh, so you oh, went on you went on the vacay. Uh, glad you're back. Glad you traveled safely and made some memories. Do you take pictures and videos? Yeah, we took um, plenty of photos and oh, cool. videos. Um, I was reminiscing tight, the other day, just flying back. Kind of, kind of sad getting back to um, my work life. Okay. Miss the family. If you guys are listening, miss y'all. Miss nephews, uncles, tight. brothers, sisters. Would you, would you ever consider um, moving um, back to uh, Oklahoma? Uh, no, not at all. Why, dude? They're growing, dude. I know, but uh, they can always visit me, man. <laughs> yeah, there's more shit to do in LA, anyways. <laughs> yeah, 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 just fly here. It's really uh, Mike, it's, but... it's more of a vacation to go to LA than to, to go to Tulsa. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tulsa, there's not yeah. nothing much to do over there, man. Yeah. Um, so I got bored already. It's just you know we had fun with the family and we went to uh, Big Splash. Yeah, we have. You see, you remember yeah. Big Splash? Yeah. Yeah, they. They changed the name to uh, Paradise Beach, and uh, yeah, I went there for the first time. It was cool. Wow, for the for the first time, like, like when you lived there, you didn't go. No. Okay. I, nope. Uh, couldn't never afford it. <laughs> Entrance fee is only like twenty bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> couldn't afford it. Couldn't afford it. Couldn't afford it. Mother, don't expose me. Couldn't afford it. <laughs> 
Uh, but it was cool, man. It was cool. Um, that's and then we went to Sherman Lanes. You know Sherman Lanes, yeah. Bowling oh, Alley. Yeah, it was that's cool. A, that's a staple, man. Yeah. The whole place they remodeled the whole place it was really nice. Um, cool. LED lights everywhere. Uh, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it can get bored. It can get really boring over there so quickly, and nothing much to do. Like this, even the scenery is not that nice, you know. Yeah. So I I I remember. There's not much going on, <laughs> but yeah, but no, it, is, it is growing though. I think they 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 they've got plans to add more dope shit to do over there. Uh, I remember sending um a video. I, I forgot what the video was, but it was about Tulsa growing and adding some more shit, some cool shit to it. I think like a theme park or something. I forget. But. Uh yeah, it's Tulsa. Like, Tulsa is is they're trying. They're trying, but it's not really working. It's uh, so many cool places, but it's just not busy. Yeah. Like so many cool parks, but it's just not busy. Nobody walks. You, you know it. that giant park um, over by the river? I think it costs oh, yeah. it costs five hundred million dollars to make to make that place. Five hundred million dollars, dog. Wow. Yeah, they're trying real hard to uh, to blow that place wow. up. So. You know, they when I went back over there, they haven't cut the grass in in maybe months since. Wow april Dang. holy crap like they can't afford to cut the grass anymore yeah man that's crazy uh but it's a nice place though it's a really nice place but 500 million god damn yeah dude it's nuts dude. that's not worth it they trying 500 mil they trying though so okay cool damn but it, it is a nice place though it's a really nice place they're, they're trying but it's just not as busy um they're trying i get it i get it Tosa. Trying to be, I get it. Like also, you trying to be like Dallas. <laughs> you trying to be it's like working, OKC. Man. I get it. Okay, I, I get it. You're trying to be the new OKC. I get it. You know, uh, uh, I think. I think. Um, what is it? I think uh, Tulsa has about. I think the population is about eight hundred thousand people. So almost a million. Really? Is it that much? Yeah. Oh yeah. No way. No way. Yep. It's got to be at least a hundred. Only a hundred k. Is it really eight hundred thousand? I think I think in the city of Oshkosh here, I, I think it's about a hundred, a little over a hundred thousand. But okay, but Tulsa is like eight hundred. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, I never knew that. Yeah. Tulsa County. I never knew. That. Tulsa County. So. Uh, Owasso is growing though. They've been uh, they're expanding the uh, highway, uh, which is great. Um, you remember Philip? Yeah, Philip. He lives his up house there, yeah. went up. Yeah, his house went up pretty. Jurassically, I think it was like it's at two hundred fifty k right now. Oh, nice, yeah. So, Owasso is nice. It's nice, yeah. It's I think Tulsa is just a good place to you know raise the kids. But then you know if I really think about it, the heat is not worth it. Dude. The weather, dude, oh, that that million mile wind that they just had. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh shit! It wasn't even a tornado, dude. It was just wind, dude. <laughs> it's just wind. Hundred miles. Oh, oh my, that's crazy. Oh my like, damn, cuz. Can you imagine just walking and you just like flying with the air? Oh yeah, dude. You are gonna go yeah, to the, the land of Oz for sure, dude. Shit. Uh, yeah, yeah I can't do that, man. The weather the weather is too uh it's unpredictable and it's always humid over there and I don't know, I just don't wanna live in that heat. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. I get it. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with California for now. For sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, man, what you what you been up to? I know uh, it's been uh, almost two weeks, really. Last week was kind of a, like a yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah, dude. That episode was trash, dude. <laughs> was it? Damn. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I didn't know what to do with myself, dude. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. We're always gonna have bad days. Oh, shit, it's right. dude. I was I was just not I was just not in the mode, man. I was just I was just so out of it too, man. Cause like uh, Man, like during that yeah. time, like me and my wife were just kind of into it too, and yeah. I was just I was just feeling the blues, man. I was just feeling the blues, and then I was like, "All right, I'm gonna do this podcast, and then it's gonna cure everything." And then, like my energy level was kind of low when it was just you and me, and then you left, and then my energy just died. <laughs> Damn! I was well, like, "All right, well, what to do?" I was like, um, "We're gonna we're gonna read a few more Reddit posts." And then I start, you know, sharing my depression. And then I was like, man, this episode, I hope nobody watches this. 
<laughs> um, I was like, this is not our strongest episode. Let's just say that. Yeah, um, there's, there's, always, there's always gonna be some some bad ones, but you know, it's all right. It's gonna be better ones. There's always gonna be better ones. Oh man, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we still showed up, though, man. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. He showed up. Consistency. It's all he about that consistency, up. you know. Yeah. Because exactly. like what three exactly. three months in, and I was just kind of like, man, three months, you know, and then we we put out this trash ass episode. You know? <laughs> I was like, man, we got, I gotta, I gotta step it up, you know, because like, like during that episode too, I asked myself, I was like, you know, you know, I'm feeling, you know, low energy, I'm feeling down, you know what I'm saying? But what if I had like, if what if we had like a thousand, you know, viewers right now? What, you know, how would I act? How would I feel, right? You know, and so I was just kind of yeah. like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta do something, you know, about this, you know, um, in order for us yeah. to get there, right? You know, so, so it was a, uh, you know. As bad as the uh, episode that was, it was also a good uh, lesson to learn. So you know, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up too, man. Even uh, a thousand, even a hundred people, we're yeah. still gonna show up. One person, we're still gonna show up. Yeah. You know, we're still gonna chat. We're still gonna be ourselves. We're still gonna execute, execute. at the highest level. Yeah, that's, that's yes, the sir. Thing. Yeah. So we're still gonna be here, man. So um, shout out to Yang Cheng that's watching. Tight, tight. Shout out. <laughs> um. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I know we got some goodies for uh, today's episode. Um, yeah, did you? Uh, let's. You want to start with the first one? Let's do first it. Video? Let's get into the segments, brother. Okay, right, so cool, cool, so you cool, sent me cool. three. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first. So I'm just gonna pick um, one and then. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just pick one and then we just roll with. I wonder if I can you see, see if... it on my end here. But let's just show it and let me see if I could uh, see it on my end. All right. Let's see. Okay, cool. Frank Owen. You're a brave person. What they call the four o'clock in the morning courage. Wait when things go completely to pieces, when things are the worst, when your very best deal falls apart and your rent is late and you're tired and you're sick and everybody is mad at you and your car doesn't work. Then it's the person that picks himself up and says nothing is going to stop me. You know, you know, the best quality in the world that you can develop, and I give it to you because I made it my life's habit to develop this quality. I hope I've got it, but I don't know for sure. But the quality is to develop the quality of being unstoppable. Develop the quality of being unstoppable. Say in yourself that no matter what life throws at me, it'll never stop me. No matter how rough it gets, oh, I will never quit. And nothing will ever stop me. That's that, uh, yes, David, sir. That's that, David, yes, sir. That's that David yes. Goggins mentality. <laughs> yeah. You don't know me. You yeah, don't know yeah, me. You, you know me, sir. You know me, sir. Damn, cuz. You know me, sir. Yeah, man. I, I think uh, I think that's just 100% relative to, you know, just what I was going through in, in, in that moment last week and, and the you know, yeah. beginning of this week, too, honestly. But it's being unsolvable. I, I think it's just it's just being in that moment or, or, or just kind of really being um, conscious or, or in control, you know. Because I, I mm, oftentimes, mm. you know, for me, anyways, I'm very emotional, and then you know I lose this control when I, when I lose, you know, when I give control over to my emotions, you know, when I start to react versus take control of the situation. So I think, I think, I think it, it, it speaks true to to our conversation before going live, you know, of, of me getting a duplex, getting that house to to level up. I think, I think that's. Uh, I think that's what I'm uh, afraid of, man. Is is being in control, you know. So I like that one, dude. I like that one. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, it was this video. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't mean to talk about it at all, even like today or early today. Like, um, uh, even when you mentioned about uh the episode, you know, like how it was, like everything went wrong on the episode. Could have been wrong, and it did. But then we still, <laughs> you know, went on, you know. Yeah. And um. That's 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 the true. I think that element. Once you have the mentality, it's going to take you to the next level. That most people would quit. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, like I feel like I knew this too. Like I knew it, like about that mentality, but I've never like really act on it, and just kind of like push forward even harder. You know. Um. Double down, man. When shit like that happens, double down, dude. 
it's ours. Yeah, double down. That's cool. You know, I I reflect on my life. You know, um, every now and then when I when I do reflect on my life, I look at myself in the past and see how much I've I've you know that's this is how I stay grateful is is I reflect and and I just see how much I've grown and you know the challenges I had to overcome. You know, getting married was was difficult. Shit, moving here, dude. I I literally dropped so. When uh when I left Oklahoma, you know you were already gone, and I was just kind of a fucking well, I was a mess when you were in Tulsa, but but when you left, you know I just kind of snowballed into being even more of a mess, and you know I met Paku, and I was just kind of like, all right, you know she's down, so then I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna start fresh and Oshkosh, and then I only had like a thousand bucks in the bank account, and I closed that, I left with my Integra, and with like uh, my computer and camera equipment and then a, the bit of clothes that i did have and then and then you know now i'm here today you know four kids later and taking care of my mom and and then i think the next step right so as proud of i as i am from you know where i've come from is i think the next step is is going to be even uh more something to be proud of you know? yeah i think you've uh prepared yourself more than enough to to mo- to move on to the next step, you know, um, whatever whatever it may be, I think you're definitely prepared for it. So, um, yeah, man, uh, take the leap. Uh, if shit goes sideways, it goes sideways, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move. that's another it's, challenge. <laughs> yeah, shit, uh, man, it's supposed to happen, you know. Yeah, um, you know, I I don't know what it is, man, about about just uh, being comfortable, dude. You know. I think I think that's just some kind of animalistic um, um, behavior in us to just kind of stay comfortable, stay safe, you know, our, our survival kind of mentality, you know. Because I, yeah. I often think about that when I think of like entrepreneurship, you know, because you're gonna go through some, you know, financial insecurities when when you're trying to start a business or when you're trying to, you know, level up your income, you know. Yeah. Um, hold on, Peter. I just realized that I did disable you because of the um, the uh, video of with, with Valerie. Remember? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I don't know. I don't know how to re- reverse it. It's alright. It's alright. As, right. as long as, long as uh, you you can see me on the live video. Yeah, I have you on right here. So. And then, and then also um, per- periodically. Uh, check to see if my audio still works. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let me. You know, you know. I actually yeah. know what happened last time. It, it did disconnect. OBS did 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 disconnect. Yeah. And it notified me in the like the bottom right hand corner, and now just kind of like this OBS disconnected, and then it, came, it went back on. OBS reconnected, and I was just like, oh okay, problem went away. But oh okay, so but it, well, uh, we're definitely double checking. So it's it's good. Well, it's, it's, it's good. All right, ready for the next um, video? Yeah, let's go for it. Well, I can give you my opinion on why I wouldn't ever do it. And I think the reason I wouldn't ever do it is because I believe that a man and a woman have a connection between them. And I think that connection is solidified by sexual exclusivity from the female's part. And I believe there's an energy cord between. And I think that once that's broken with another man, I do believe there's a degree of the connection which is damaged. And I think that when the relationship is good, perhaps you will not feel it. But when the relationship is bad or when arguments start to happen or you start to get on each other's nerves. Oh, man. Was that, um, was that really how long the video is? No, it was a bit longer, but um, but the, you know what happened, right? No, what, what happened? Uh, so backstory. Uh, you know the guy Adam Twenty Two. Okay, what about him? No, I, I don't know. He does this podcast called No Jumper. Oh, it's okay. a pretty, uh, pretty well known um, big podcast. Uh, so what he does is like he podcasts um like women, and then they basically just like end up having sex. Wow, like they that's end up having orgies. Interesting. Um, so, Very. so on this specific specific moment, uh, he got married. He just recently got married to his wife. Yeah. Um, and then he 
the wife did a scene with a BBC uh, recently, yeah. and he, he was completely okay with it. Um, but that's when they was talking to Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate was like, I wouldn't want my wife to do that, uh, to do a scene with um, another man alone. Yeah, so that's that's basically what uh, the backstory of that scene. God, damn, man. That's that's wild, dude. I don't know, man. If you, if you, you know, like, like I've already kind of shared, expressed my feelings about other people doing them. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> but, but as long as you happy and as long as you healthy, whatever, you know what I'm saying? As long as that shit don't affect my family tight, you know what I'm saying? Dope. Do it. You know, God bless America. But for me and my family, yeah, we, 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 I, I, you know, like the sex industry is what we stay away from. Uh, it's what we're going to stay away from. Um, and some more shit, but do you, do you regulate your, your, kids um like what they watch and stuff yeah yeah you yeah. oh dude I, I don't i don't want them to even play roblox honestly but oh that's great that's great i, I played it that's i played great. it for the first time yesterday and i was like this ain't bad <laughs> this ain't bad it's pretty tight <laughs> i was like i can see why they dig it i can see why they dig it man <laughs> yeah 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 so I, so I made an account and i started playing with them and i was like shit i'm playing games with my kids dog tight tight all right, all right. So you, it was, it was more of a like a connection for you to build a bridge with the kids. You know, you know, it's it it was a uh, it allowed me to get into their head, headspace. You know, because there's a lot mm -hmm. of cooperative play, and then I was like, oh shit, the game I play, you know, better graphics. Um, but it's it's that cooperative play that they that they enjoy. Like it, you know, they play together. It reminds me of you know me and my bigger sister. You know, we we play games together. You know, we used to. Yeah, yeah. We used to argue and, and all that kind of shit, but that's how we bonded. And then, um, so I was like, all right, I get it. It's not the games that I play, you know what I'm saying? It's not as cool as my games, but, you know, it's whatever. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, uh, my, yeah, my nephews in the play, uh, they spent a lot of money on Minecraft, oh, yeah. bro. I don't, yeah, like, my nephew, uh, he would, like, once he gets like 50 bucks, it goes straight to Minecraft. I'm like, dang, I don't think that's healthy, man. I was like, don't do that, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's 50 bucks, bro. You know how hard it is to earn fucking 50 bucks? <laughs> dang, man. Yeah. Um, But, man, these kids nowadays, they don't care, man. They just spend money on anything. Well, it's, it's not so much the kids. I mean, the kids are just, you know, they're they're allowed to do what, what they do because of the parents. So it's really the parenting piece. Like, for me, I really need to, like, crack down on them, you know, putting in more time doing English and math. And then crack down on doing chores and limit the time that they spend on Roblox. So that that's something that me and Pagu are failing on our part. But you know, once we get that down, these kids are going to be top tier, you know, for sure. Because like, what um, do you? Go ahead. What are you doing now to you know start that? Well, well, they do they do have apps that that you know better them, you know, improve them. Okay. Like, okay. like um. You know, the other day when uh, my kids were hanging out with uh, their cousins, their older cousins, right? They're like 10, 11, I think. And then they're, they're you know, so impressed by how much uh, uh, writing uh, uh, that they could do, you know. And then I think um, uh, my daughter, Iris, right, she, she, she knows how to read, you know, pretty big words. Like for her age, she's yeah. like four. She just turned yeah. four, I think, in March or some shit like that. And then... Um, uh, my wife's sister, you know, she's she, uh, or, or Iris. Iris was just walking up to the van, and she's like, "That says uh, Odyssey," because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. we drive the Honda Odyssey, right? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Uh, uh, her aunt was like, "Oh shit, you know how to say that word?" And she's like, "Hey, come here, Iris. Let me show you uh, uh, my husband, right?" And then she's like, "Say it, say it, Odyssey," you know. So <laughs> she was amazed because. Uh, uh, their daughter, which is like I think eight or something like that, eight or nine, like um, have a difficult time reading, and so she just wanted to show off uh, my kid. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my daughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, read read this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So, so yeah, it's it's just it's, it's the parenting, hundred percent, man. You know, you you gotta discipline the kids. You gotta let them know. You know, uh, I I think eventually. 
um, you know, pretty soon here, actually, uh, I, I want to start like um, doing um, incorporating allowances. I think that'll, you know, teach them the value of money and time, right? Because mm. the, cause, and then when we go to the stores, they can buy shit with their money, you know? So. Interesting. That would be uh, something cool to uh, kind of regulate and kind of, you know, um, yeah. spend in connection. It's more of a connection too to with your kids yeah um oh i i uh, recently saw my ne nieces and nephews this past weekend and, and it's kind of cool to see um how my nieces and nephews were raised and how they act um some of them are motivated by prizes some of them are motivated by um games video games yeah. some of them are motivated by just you know quality time you know um, but it's, it's interesting how, uh, kids, how they operate and what they like. Oh yeah. It, it, it's cool to, to see that too. Some I think, of them uh, are very I think, I think when my, my sons hit puberty or in that puberty range, I don't think I'm, I'm yeah. gonna, I think I'm going to take the doors off the bathrooms. Why? Why are you going to ruin it for him, man? <laughs> Let me enjoy the time. <laughs> Let him enjoy it, bro. <laughs> You don't want him to wake up middle of the night, like sneaking around, <laughs> sneaking trying around. to find a, trying to find a closet space. You know what I mean? Like, just, I no, no, no doors in this house. There are no put, doors in this house. <laughs> we should put a like a like a sign, uh, like in the bathroom or something. Like I'm watching you. <laughs> Uh, 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 or is it, or is it oh. gonna be a picture of me and it's gonna say jerk off to this? <laughs> uh, oh shit, nah, that's funny. Nah. Let him live though, man. Let let that let the homie live. I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna buy him a door for a for for a Christmas for his birthday. Uh, oh shit, that's funny, dog. Oh my god. I'm not sure if uh, cause uh, like it it really depends on when they get exposed to to those kind of things too i feel oh yeah dude. because 100%. um and how they get exposed to it right because yeah. i got exposed to it from uh by my brothers yeah. and that was not that was not the uh, the best way in such a young age um but uh i think if you don't expose them to it they they won't do anything man like they won't do anything they'll either try maybe like maybe like late like oh, teens man. But I don't think they'll do anything. I, I don't know, Watch man. That, that that you know, I I I you know what you said, right? It's just because, like, if you don't teach them sex education, right, somebody else is gonna teach them, you know. And and that other source, it might not align with you know what you believe in, right? So I think that that piece is important. I just haven't figured it out the best approach to it. Um, that's true um yeah i mean yeah i think having somebody else do is is probably not the better idea yeah. um but i think you if you approach him about it and trying to talk to him oh no man that's hard dude that's a whole other topic <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm stressing about it right now <laughs> dog um, i need to i need to talk to some parents man i need to get some ideas dog. you know what i'm saying oh uh, because like um you know i i, I Cause like, uh, I learned, um, um, uh, masturbating from my cousin. Right. And he learned it from, you know, other older kids, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, what is it? Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, you know, my parents never taught, you know, or, or talked about sex. Right. And all that other shit too. And, and at that time I went to church too. And at church, you don't talk about sex, you know, that was some taboo yeah, you don't talk yeah. about, you know? So then. I learned it through porn, and then uh, you know I discovered porn from where? Where? where, where and where did you see your first porn? I mean, corn, corn. Uh, it it was. Uh, that's interesting, man. I, I don't quite know the origin story of that. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, uh, it happened at a very long, young age. I think it was. Uh, I, I think it was even in uh, elementary. I remember, man. I remember. Um, like this kid uh, ripped out a page from a, a magazine and then showed it to us. And then somebody snitched him out. And I was like, there you go, guys. No more porn for us, man. 
<laughs> that was our supplier, and someone snitched, man. Whoever that person is, man. Fuck them, dude, you know? Uh, that's funny. <sighs> oh, that's funny, man. But, but yeah, dude, I think, um, shit, I got to prep. I got I got a lot of prep to do, man. Uh, you know, as a kid, uh, I mean, this is back in the day, but I, I would, um, like, we would play cops and robbers with, the, with like, girls, you know? So I will chase them, and I will just, like, grab their butt. What's the number yeah. one? Yeah, and um, I, I never knew that was, like, a wrong, something wrong, you know? Oh, okay. Oh, so it, I knew. it was just kind of like, ha, 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 grab your ass, you know? Not, yeah, not yeah. in like a perverted way. It was just kids not knowing better. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know if that was like offensive to them or they or they didn't like it. Um, but I did it to this one chick multiple times, and she she told on me. And I was like, "Wait, like, how am I in trouble? <laughs> like, yeah, we just I'm playing. just touching them. Yeah, we just, I'm just touching them. We're just playing tag. Uh, yeah, it's just that's it. And you know, I like her. She likes me, and you know, we're just touching each other. Um. That's all. That's just all so wrong. Um, but yeah, the, I I uh, I did that for for a while, and um, I don't I, I don't want to go to deeper stories. That's for Patreon. That's why you should subscribe <laughs> to Patreon. That's where all the our, dirty our cancel stories series. Are our cancel series are are there. Uh, five bucks a month yeah. for all the good. Five dollars. We're supporting the stream. Oh. All the money goes back into the stream. Our bailout money for <laughs> for when we get canceled and sent to jail. That's our bailout uh, money. But uh, cool, man. All right, you um, ready for this next video, man? Yeah, let's go to the next one, man. Tight. What's the number one thing that's holding most people back from reaching their full potential? The story. The story they sell themselves on. Everyone's got a story. And everyone wants to tell you their story of how bad they had it, how hard they had it. And the more times you tell yourself or others that story, the more you reinforce the fact that you're not meant to have happiness, success, abundance, great relationship, awesome health, abs, whatever. They don't realize that they still hold the pen. And there's thousands of empty pages still in that book that they can rewrite that story. But we have to let go of the pages that others have written in our book and realize we got this pen. And we can start writing how the story looks from this day forward. Yeah, that's... Uh, I used to subscribe to that mentality, man. It's wild, dude. Yeah, it's, um, it's a victim mentality, man. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've I was in that stage a couple of times too. Um, but how do you how, how do you feel with that about that? I got what this story, was... man. Like a vi victim mentality, right? So so that's the that's the thing with like um, like generational or, or or that's why they say the poor get poor and the rich get ri richer. It's because you're yeah. you're taught by the previous generation, you know these poor habits, right? So I didn't know that that's what it was called. You know, vic being a victim or, or victimhood mentality. Uh, there's this time where I was working as a uh, valet um, at a hospital. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling my buddy, uh, my buddy Carlos, best friend, still to this day. Um, I was like, I, I saw uh, a kid like my age, right? Drive a Mercedes, you know? I was like, man, that's, I was just so upset, man. I was just like, I was telling the Carlos, I was like, man, dude, fuck that guy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's his parents' money. That's his parents' car. And he, and he driving it, man. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, got, yeah. he got it so easy, man. He he don't know the struggles. He wouldn't last a day in my shoes. And Carl was like, dude, chill out, man. That's, <laughs> parents work hard for that, you know? And then I was just kind of like, you ain't wrong, but I'm still mad. <laughs> so I didn't know, you know, I remember that story, you know what I'm saying? Because of what Carlos said, ultimately, you know? And then I look back and I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like when, when, you know, right now I have, I have what I have and then I'm going to continue to, you know, have more, you know, an abundance eventually, but, you know, and then I'm going to give to my kids, you know, not just the, the wealth piece, but then the, the knowledge piece too, you know? So I, they are going to be able to drive, you know, dope stuff or, or they're going to be, you know, they're going to have their own, you know, nice things too one day, you know? So, 
and and it all just comes down to that that mentality of of um not ad- adopting other people's um i guess victim and victimhood mentality right um you know when when other people tell you that you know you can't is they're really uh what is it um projecting their insecurities they're projecting their you know can'ts and, and so i i think I think um, a part of, you know, where I'm at today is, is just kind of learning how to weed out what people say and what people do, you know? That's true. Um, I agree. Like, uh, I think that's one thing that I think the insecurity part too, like it is part of the insecurity of like, oh, putting the blame, almost like not being responsible for your, what you're going to do, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it was, it's, it's kind of tough to, um, realize that you are in a victim mentality, you know, cause like, you gotta, you really gotta step back and, and realize it yourself. Um, and, and it, and it takes a lot to, to really go back and take a look at yourself and reanalyze yourself and say that maybe that was what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe I should think different. How come things ain't changing? Because I know people, some people to this day, they still have the mentality of like blaming people or like, oh, I, you know, I wish, you know, this person could have done this. If this person could have done this, I could have been better. Or if that person did that, I could have been this position. Um, at the end of the day, man, like, it's not their fault. It was just like, like he said too, it was just they wrote the story, but you can. You hold the pen, right? Yeah. yeah, you hold the pen wow. for many pages to go. I thought I thought that was pretty strong, man. I think it's really true. Um, I think I'm, you know, you have more control of your life, especially like us being older and uh, you know going through so much experience already. We are kind of kind kind of tired of the shitty shit that we do, you know, the shit that we wrote ourselves and blaming other people. And um, now we have the pen to, you know, better ourselves. And now, uh, quick, Satana says hi. Oh, okay, says cool. the, yeah. that's our number one, guys. our number one viewer right there, dude. Yeah, we love you, Santana. And she said, "Yo, yo, Cam Crowley got higher." <laughs> hey, she's saying me. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely you, definitely you. My my shit has not changed since the beginning. So yeah, we we went for Peter. We went for Peter's Cam Crowley soon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, that's um, yeah, getting up from the victim mentality. I think once you free yourself from the mentality, you have so much more potential to do so much more things for yourself and give yourself so much self love, reteaching yourself, self growth. Um, it, man, it's a whole different, like almost like a maturity level, you know. Yeah. So, um, I highly recommend. I, I think I think um. You know, to speak a little bit more on that, man, I, I think like it's, I think if you're, especially if you're in America and you have access to the internet, you know, I, I think there's, there's really no excuse to get to the next level, right? Men- mentally, because now you have access to information because before, before the internet, right? You're, you're only going to go, yeah, it's very, it's most likely that you're only going to go as far as who you surround yourself with. I mean, even that's, that's even honestly true today, right? What you what you yeah. consume, right, is what you're gonna um, exude, right? The the law yeah. of attraction. So, I, so you know, you have the internet. You're in America. Dog, you you can pick yourself up from, you know, a small ass town and and go big, right? Or you can go big in that town and expand and whatever, you know. So I I think it's everybody has their own you know challenges in life, adversities in life. But I think when you when you mentally give control to an excuse uh, or, or mentally give control to, you know, your circumstances, I think that's when you lose control of, of, of your life, you know, so. Um, I agree, dude. Like, um, I, you know, I think the past six months for me personally, um, I'm very careful on who I surround myself with, you know. Um, I've lost in, in touch with people I don't need in my life anymore. Um, and 
I I've been keeping people that have been that we've been building, you know. Likewise, and you know, with you, a good example, you know. We we understand the assignment and pushing forward, and I love it, man. Um, every Thursday, I look forward to it, and uh, we're growing, dude. Hey, step by step, man. And honestly, in a year from now, six six months from now, bro, like people don't even know. No, we know, man. You know, actually, you know, like, so I, I looked it up uh, earlier today, like the fan page alone, the fan page alone. Uh, this far in July, we reached uh, 50, I think 57,000 uh, uh, people, right, has seen our stuff. That's just the, the fan page alone. And that page is kind of dead, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so we, we've already, I guarantee you, we, we've already, you know, we hit, we're, we hit over 100 thousand reach right which is what we uh i think last month for that month we achieved i think uh 112,000 you know so we're 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 growing you know uh I, th- yeah. I think by the end of this year we may even be pretty close to a million hey uh yeah that's uh good news man it's great to hear because like it gives it, me it feels chills good. man i don't know about you that gives me chills yeah, it feels it feels good, dude. It feels good because uh, you know the even the tired nights, uh, just pushing forward uh, and, and and you know staying persistent. Yeah, man, it's paying off yeah. slowly, you know. So um, I want to read what Santana's been writing. She says, um, she says it takes a lot, it takes yourself to get out of your headspace. I agree, Frankie. And then she says, agree with Peter with that. What you surround yourself with is what your future will look like. I um, strongly agree. Um, it sucks to lose people, but you get from the new things will take you to better. And yes, y'all manifest it. Keep going. Stay consistent is number one. Y'all know y'all always excited. Always been doing great things together. Excited to see what else is coming your way, guys. Thank you, Santana. Much love. Um... We show nothing but appreciation for uh, the people that that believe in us and um, it's been on the road with us since like at the beginning. Uh, we love y'all. Um, yeah, I, we we can't show any like the, we show so much appreciation. Like I don't know how to show it anymore, you know. But we're, we we're, show like, we're we're we're, we're reaching out to you guys virtually, man. We're giving you guys virtual hugs, yes. man. We're happy that. Yes. Um, you know that that you are watching our stuff that you're growing with us too right on your own journey yeah yeah and then you're tuning in that's i think that's i think it's real dope you know what what we're what we you know grown in the past three months that's true man uh this is i think like i said too like this is kind of what we've been wanting to do is just give back to the community and like this is how we're, we're giving back is giving you guys uh, deep conversations and um, you know share our thoughts and uh, grow with you guys yeah. you know so um, yeah man this is uh, something great that me, me and Peter has been excited to do I think we both kind of been kind of wanting to do this low key uh, but we just never uh, did it it just it came it came like pretty naturally I feel it wasn't really forced all, all of just... the stars aligned you hit me up one day at the time where I was just kind of like <sighs> And I gotta get out of this hell, man. And then you're like, yeah. let's let's do this shit, you know. And then I was like, on board, perfect timing. I remember that conversation. Yeah, yeah. same here, same here. Uh, I was like, I was like, man, let's not rush it. Just thirty minutes, man. <laughs> I know you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Just thirty minutes. I'm a dot. We're out. Oh, That's shit. It. it was supposed to be. It with. was supposed to be a writing session. That's- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. I like writing session, dude. Thirty minutes and like that's it. Clean uh, out, bro. Like, that's so funny. We haven't did a writing session in so long, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those dude, those are awesome. I miss those writing sessions. We um uh, some great ideas. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh my god. Um, good times. But we 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 should definitely put a writing session in on one of these podcasts. They're just like maybe fifteen minutes or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, you want you ready to go to the the next one though? All right, my my video segment. Let's get it. No, no Reddit, no Reddit articles this week. I think. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I think we're gonna. I think I got pretty solid videos, man. Okay. You you had some pretty solid videos too. So worked out. It worked out perfectly. All right, check this out. So Sam Smith, check it out.
Mm, so Sam Smith has ruffled some feathers with their latest music video for their song, which is ironically called I'm Not Here to Make Friends. The raunchy video features Sam dancing suggestively, wearing very little clothes, and some people are getting very upset. But why are people annoyed with it? Well, apparently some viewers feel that the video is too raunchy, and some even think there should be an age limit to watch the video on YouTube. Yep, we've reached peak boomer. Sam Smith has plenty of people supporting their video though, with journalist Benjamin Butterworth calling the video fantastic and even compared it to some of Madonna's iconic music videos. Make sure you subscribe for even more pop culture news and videos. Huh? That's tough to watch. Huh? Is that people pissing on each other? Is that the whole think, thing about I think, that? I think that's, that was just like a water fault fountain or a water spout whatever but it was meant to be like a piss piss thing right it had to be dude there's no way the... it uh it was something there's suggestive no it was something suggestive so so what are your thoughts on that one man you yeah, know let me uh let's dive in i'm gonna tell you this man it's easier to win now like more than ever as a dude like okay. <laughs> it's easier to win um, but you know, things like this, something that we can't really, like, I've, I've never seen the video. I don't think I want to watch the video. I don't think I want my nephews and ne nieces to watch the video. Um, but I'm, I'm a big fan of his music though. Like, damn, he really went that far. Kind of like that guy from, uh, what's that guy that did the, the country song? The, uh, na, 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 na. Like, uh, Lil X -Nice. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like he did the, the. He did that the devil music video. Did you see that one? There's a bunch of them. I don't know. I, I haven't watched yeah, he, anything. Especially yeah, like a yeah, I told you last time, dude. Like I, I still listen to music ten years ago, dude. <laughs> dude, that's we my, gotta do all. We gotta favorite. watch the music videos and react to that, dude. That's. I, I was thinking about sending you a music video, um, but I haven't seen it either. So, okay. but that's for next time. Um, but that's a pretty disappointing, man. I don't know, man. I I don't I don't I don't care for it to be honest. I don't watch it. Um, why? Why is uh, it uh, disappointing? Uh, if it's like it's disappointing in a way that like if it's not rated R and people support it, like it's like oh man, this is just like PG. Because I'm I'm more uh, concerned about like the young age and upcoming age. Oh, check this out too. The other day, I saw a cartoon that was about. Um, I Me, mean, nothing against gays. Nothing against gays, but there was gay. There's two two gays that was main characters that was in the action movie, um, like a, like a Disney, not a Disney, but it was like a cartoon on Netflix. I was like, man, they're putting gays in here now. Like, they, yeah. So my nieces and nephews, like, yeah, that person's gay. He's gay with a uh, black gay. So everything was just so okay. Like, man, like everybody, like you can just decide to. Like fuck anything and that's it. Oh man, I don't know, Miss. Oh, man, I don't know. I feel like the devil is winning, you know, and in, in in his ways, yeah. and the media is, and like the media can go against you so quick. Like, oh, you you're homophobic. You don't like gays. Like, like damn, it's not it's not that I don't like gays. Like, I I, I have a lot of gay friends. I support gays, but like, damn, like y'all gotta put it out there like that and. Make it PG, and like what the heck? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, um, I, you know, I, I, I agree one hundred percent on the on the, um, like so Sam Smith videos. You know, I don't give a fuck. He put out bangers. You know, that's cool and stuff. I haven't heard, quite heard his like new stuff, but if that video, right, that's definitely a, a thousand percent suggestive, right? But if that video is, um, I guess, uh, uh, available to watch, right, of all ages, I think, I think that's not okay. You know, um, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's what that's, that's um, really my only problem is is just that like something like that, like any like you don't need to be like an eighteen and up you know uh, YouTube account to watch it. You know, uh, I think that's yeah, that's yeah. what yeah I think yeah that's what I'm saying yeah I I don't I don't condone that at all. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. So what about the uh, like the female performers, man, doing shit like that too? How do you feel about that? Oh, for sure. Same thing. I mean, I watch it. I, next thing you know, I'm on corn. <laughs> yeah. That's but bad, I'm eight, bro. But I'm over 18. 
That's the difference. <laughs> that's, that's that's horrible. That's horrible for me. Temptations, man. Temptations. The devil. The devil. Really... <laughs> I just came here for the damn dope ass song in the music video, man. How am I? How did I end up watching Pornhub shit, man? Come on, God damn it. Yeah, dude. It's uh, it's the temptations, devil, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, I mean, I don't mean. Once I s start seeing like anything I, like that on my feed, I'll just like go right past it. So then yeah, they can, yeah, you know, the down. algorithm. Yeah, thumbs down. Yeah. You gotta press that three circles and say, "Don't you know? Don't you know? Send this to me yeah. anymore." <laughs> yep, yep. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay pure, man. I'm trying to be better, <laughs> man. And and these videos are turning me sideways, bro. Uh, good videos, man. Yeah, good, yeah. Good hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I traumatized you a little bit, you know, because like because I heard I heard that, you know, like Sam was in hot water for for a minute and I didn't really know why, you know, but that's only because I've been listening to shit from 10 years ago, you know, stay with me. I'm just like, mm. that song? what? But this it's, song. it's this, it's this, <laughs> this yeah. sexual stuff. Yeah. Good, 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 good song though. He has good music. Great oh, yeah, music. Dude, you got, you Love bangers, his voice, man. Even even his shit today, man, it's still bangers. It's just when you see the music video, it's like, oh shit, he sold his soul <laughs> well, to the devil. The uh, the song "Unholy," I I uh, listened to the lyrics and I was like, holy shit, this is dark as hell. Oh yeah, I, I haven't heard that. I yeah, only I'm heard uh, only only heard uh, uh, the one where he said the body shop one. I'm like, okay, that's you know for sure, like okay. some sexual shit. But the music though is still pretty banging, you know. But uh, how, how do you feel yeah. about? Do you, do you believe in like this satanic stuff? Like, like Hollywood is kind of like sketchy about, you know, Illuminati or or uh, or uh, satanic worshippers or something. Like that. Um, in a way, yes, because okay. like. If you think about it, if you have that much power and you're doing that many drugs, I think you're going in for sure. Because uh, me personally, like, that's why I stay away from drugs. Because, like, when I was on it, bro, like, all I could think about is, like, these demonic shit. Like, it, that's why I really stepped out of it because there was too much... Uh, dynamic like it's demon shit and negative thoughts that was in my mind like if I, if you really want to go deep in my thoughts into that it's like it's like sex like sex drugs feel good like greed and like i want this person to myself i want this i don't care about nobody else um like i just want to focus on myself um, I mean, I'm, not, I'm saying that as if like, it's like a, a shitty thing, which, which it was at the time. Um, but I knew that my soul, my whole, like my holy soul was like, that's, you shouldn't want, you don't want to go there. Like I, I showed you all the shitty stuff and that's going to happen if you continue. And I was like, yo, I got to stop this because I don't like it. I never, like, I knew I didn't like it, but I still did it, you know? Yeah. Um, like I want, I remember I just wanted to punch somebody in the face, <laughs> like, like <laughs> legit. I <just> <laughs> got the devil on your shirt. Punch him in the face. Punch him. Yeah, in the yeah. Face. It was exactly like that. I was like, dude, this guy this looks guy? like he yeah. he bothers me. Like I'm gonna punch him in the face. Yeah. But I'm like, man, whoa, like where did that, where did that come from? Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I had that kind of power, and because if you really think about it, man, rich people, most most of them are on drugs doing cocaine or something bro um and most of them are not happy and they would go to that route there's this a uh, podcast that i was listening to and these of girls will go to these parties and you can't have your phone you have to sign an nda and uh, they basically just like have orgies in this mansion i mean there's a lot of celebrities there uh we're talking about like hot like a class celebrities that oh, yeah. that's going to these kind of parties yeah um i mean i would love to go and check it out don't get me wrong <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah i like i like to watch <laughs> I'll, I'll go check it out you know what i'm saying uh, but like i wouldn't i wouldn't like participate in it um but i would love to just you know check it out and see see what what's going down and 
Um, but uh, the way the girls were kind of talking about, like, you know, the party, like, they literally was just, like, handing out, like, cocaine. I mean, snowflakes. Oh, they're, they're, like, they're like, servers? Yeah. And, like, the servers are, like, naked. You, like, legit. You know, like, it's... And they have talked about, like, worshipping uh, and stuff. And, oh, man, dude. <laughs> I don't want to be in that position, dog. I don't want to be there. But I would like to, uh, you know, do a documentary about it. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Be a witness, what not you... a participator. Yeah, yeah. What do you What do you, What do you think? You think that's true? Oh, yeah, yeah. There, I, I believe that there's definitely, you know, a group of, you know, people of, you know, like different groups, maybe, right? Who who have agendas and who has, you know, pooled their resources or influences and, you know, doing deals together to to make their own agenda happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because because yeah. right w without a doubt, there are, you know, um, lawyers who are bought out right by big corporations and, you know, governments who are uh, or, or, or government representatives who are bought out and, and paid to set these laws or, you know, so it's, it's, it's without a doubt. It happened in Hollywood, um, in, in corporations and, and bullshit like that. Have you, have you heard, uh, this is, so this is a guy that I was, that I follow on Instagram and he kind of brings out like the politics stuff. And he was like, he brought a strong point. He said that, um, you know, like every job that we take as, you know, like lower class, I said we, and I just categorize myself as lower class. That's, hey, now the only way you can go is up. You know what I'm saying? And now the only way you can go is up. Uh, but um, but yeah, like like even like Amazon worker, they they have to take drug tests. Um, like any Walmart worker, they have to take drug tests to be able to work. But if you really think about it, how come Congress? How come our main leaders, our government? who take place in leadership role don't take a drug test yeah dude i think in the news uh recently like a week or two ago there was like cocaine found in uh, the white house <laughs> yeah right I'm like, Damn. I was like that don't surprise me honestly that don't surprise it surprised me that they they put it on the news that's a... <laughs> usually right, all right, that right. shit goes into the into the, under the carpet yeah right right <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's one thing that that really opened up my eyes. I'm like, man, how come our leaders don't take drug tests? Hey, you know, they're the one that's probably setting up these stuff. That's um, these uh, worshiping uh, gatherings and yeah. Damn, bro, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about. I might. I might. They might just hunt me down. Yeah, you might. You might <laughs> stop. You might stop showing up for Thursdays. Uh, I'm like, where's uh, I text Frankie? Where Where are you, dude? You haven't returned um, my texts and my calls. I would, uh, I would love to um, experience one of those, though. To be honest, yeah, a witness or oh, no, yeah, witness, witness, witness. <laughs> Man. I don't know. I, I'll just stick to my porn, dude. I'll, that's about that's about as much witness and presence I I, I will do, man. That's wild, fair. Dude. Okay, uh, move on to the. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that video. I'm. Uh, thanks for answering my questions. That was, uh, that was a good video. Oh, this is a, here's another one, man. Here's another banger. Gang, 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 gang. Ooh, mm, ice cream so good. Yeah, strong woman. Huh, balloon. Yes, yeah, strong woman. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, strong woman. Yes, yeah, strong woman. Slay her. Huh? Oh, take your gas. I love you. Slay her. Huh? Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yes, yeah, strong woman. Ugh. Fire. Butterfly. Beautiful. I had fire. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, where's my feet? Oh, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yes, popcorn. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Fire. Gang gang, but amazing. Oh, thank you, Cedric. Wow. Damn, that's so tough to watch. Dude, holy fuck. <laughs> that was so tough to watch. Man, that editing, though. Man. How'd you like that editing? That's yeah, good that's stuff, good. dude. Whoever edited that, man. Uh, Interstellar, right? That was the movie? Yeah, Interstellar, man. Yeah, yeah. 
I haven't seen it yet, but I heard it's really good. It's real good. It was mind mind bending. Like just to try really? to really just to try to understand what the fuck is going on. Yeah, you got, that's the movie you definitely gotta watch at least three times to kind of see what the fuck is going on. But, I was watching a podcast with uh Lil Yachty and he was saying that that was his favorite a TV show or the very movie he watched a hundred times, but he said you gotta watch it eight times. I understand. Uh, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll try to watch it. Interstellar. But that was a uh, that was a tough one, man. Shit. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I didn't know what the fuck was going on, dude. And then and then I kind of realized, oh, that's that's TikTok live. Um, but I I don't know what the, why why she was saying all that crazy shit. Um. You, you know that now that I really think about it, man, that that's really how how we are with like content right now, you know, just mm-hmm. like kind of nonsense yeah. things, you know, and um, fuck, we're fucked, dude, we're fucked. Oh no, we're oh fucked, no, dude. my kids, my kids, Shit. get off Roblox. <laughs> uh, we're so fucked. Um, that was tough. I I don't know how to go about that, but like we were just it was zombies, man. You know, you know, you know. It's 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 kind of like um. It's kind of like we we're 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 machines, but we're flesh. You know, is what yeah. it seems like. Yep, that's true. <sighs> man, by the time you know, man, AI girlfriend is gonna come through. Yeah. And I'm gonna yeah, dude. Like I can see myself falling in love with the AI. I could like choose a personality of the all my favorite traits of my ex girlfriends and put it into AI. And or 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 yeah, you you can do that. Give it data, and then it'll yeah, continue yeah. to learn what you really like. You know, that's the that's the wild thing, dude. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. But girls are competing against AI now, man. That's crazy. Hey, that's oh, yeah, a real dude. thing too, bro. Dude, my wife, my wife bitching, man. All I gotta put on is these Apple goggles. And I get my AI wife, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not, you think you think you'll be you think your 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 wife or think you think you'll be okay with a your with having an AI boyfriend? No, dude, that, that'll that'll fuck her up. That'll fuck our relationship <laughs> up. It'll fuck her up mentally, and that's gonna affect our relationship. Why do you, do you think that? Dude, because already there's that? already these like these stupid ass apps, right? That are games that you gotta pay. And it's, it's like an interactive story, right? And it's about, oh, this chick is, you know, fucking three other dudes. And then this dude, you know. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of what those adult games on the phones, man. What? Yeah, what the fuck? Dude. And then, and then she's, no like, way. she's like the narrator. And then one time, you know, I saw a transaction for like a buck, three cents. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know? I thought it was like some fee, but it had like a weird name to it. And I was just like, hey, do you know what this is? And she was like, yeah, it's a game I play. I'm like, man, dude, how many of these fucking dollars you've been spending on this dumbass game, dude? And then what she stopped. the? Yeah. What the heck, dude? Yeah, it's all that's, that's interesting. Some drama. She likes drama. She likes horror and drama, dude. You know, you know, oh, man, now that you you mentioned that, too, like, women love thrill. Uh, I think it's just in the genetics, man. Uh, I'm not sure if you knew, but horror is actually the number, the number one drama. Um, genre and uh and netflix and crick and k-drama yeah yeah oh yeah damn dude that's crazy that's insane i don't know man i wouldn't i, would, I don't know man that's tough i wouldn't pay for i wouldn't pay for that sorry for cool but you gotta <laughs> shit no do not get into ai holy shit oh yeah dude it's gonna it's Fuck. gonna there's, you know, because like we're because like we're 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 all about, you know, we're machines of dopamine, you know, and we're just chasing for that next hit, you know. It's either yeah. scrolling, mindlessly scrolling through a bunch of shit, or or you're playing, um, you know, many many hours of just games, right? And then, um, you know, you're just eating your life away. You're just chasing dopamine, man. That's most people. I think, anyways. Man, uh, you know, you know, one thing that I wouldn't mind owning is uh, like a retreat um place just have a you know somebody come by or like a whole retreat business that we booming right um 
I don't know if it's VP. AI, AI retreat. A AI retreat. Uh, okay. You mean like a campground? Uh, <laughs> Where there's no technology, just camp. You know, yeah, you just learn basic ground, ass, yeah. you know, outdoor skills, man. You mean yeah. that? <laughs> that already exists. Boy, <laughs> Adult scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that's actually not a bad idea. Uh I think I think um I mean they are, obviously they have it right now, but I think it's going to be even more booming in the far future. It's going to be trending. Yeah. Trendy. Yeah. Yeah. Um I wouldn't mind though. I, I think I do like to. I like psychology. I do love understanding people's thoughts and what's going through their mind and how to how to reverse it and how to better themselves. You know, I mean, I, you know I, I'm trying to figure it out myself too. So you, you mentioned that yeah. like it, it reminds me of uh, when I was going to church and then they had these retreats where they would go to these you know Christian camp retreats and you know talk about God and stuff. So there there was like that disconnect from your real life it, it felt like that anyways right you, mm -hmm. you didn't go mm -hmm. quite too far away but then you were in a element of you know away from your daily life you're away from your technology you're out in the woods you're walking and you know there's these dope cabins and stuff and you're talking to you you're hanging out with people you you care about and then you know you share some stuff and you know i i think it's i think um a retreat would be kind of cool you know for for family or for you know just to disconnect from to to take a break it's a mental break i, I feel like yeah so i think that is pretty cool um i'll look more into it in uh five years to be honest something i would i would wouldn't mind doing yeah even be an instructor or something in there helper uh every time i don't know what it is but every time i think about the retreat i think about bobby lee about his story how the uh Down syndrome guy kept on raping him every day. <laughs> that story cannot get on my head, man. I swear, he said it so like, like chill too. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he said it chill, and then I, I remember a video where he says it chill, and then like the uh, the podcast host or something, they're laughing, and then he was like, Oh, yeah, why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then his, his wording changed. Oh, man, it's so funny, dude. Uh, oh, you guys are gonna watch him uh, coming up month, right? Soon, in yeah, about a month. Soon. Yeah. Man, that's all. Awesome. Can't great. wait. Yes, uh, experience, Bobby. Can't yeah, wait to hear awesome. all about it. All right, you ready for? Uh, I guess my last video. Let's go. All right, here we go. All right, some backstory, um, right? To, yeah, I need, I need some backstory on this. Some backstory to add to that. Is that, uh, I mean, uh, congratulations. It seems like a very lovable, like, beautiful moment, but I'm not sure. I mean, congratulations to the dude. He seems like he yeah. got a new book out or something. Yep, he got a new yeah. book out. Okay. So here's, uh, my, my husband has been writing ever since I've known him with the dream of getting published. He wrote so many books and battled through hundreds of rejection until last year when his dreams came true and his agent emailed him with an offer from Peachtree Team. The offer actually happened while he was in the middle of teaching his seventh period class. Oh, that's what he's on. And his student all roared and cheered for him. So this year, before his student left high school, he made a deal. Uh, he made a deal with his publisher to show his book cover early to his students before the official review online. The publisher agreed under one condition. He saw the cover for the first time with his students. Sky's End is book one of a YA fantasy trilogy. It is coming January 2nd. His book, okay, so, so it's, you know, it's a story of, you know, hard work and many, many rejections. And, and finally, he... He gets what he's worked so hard for. Those are always great stories, man. Um, 
Uh, like like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was always great. The rejection of him uh, at freshman year of high school. Um, the, I'm not. Sure, I don't know why, but like humans love upbringing stories, man. Like that's we thrive for these stories because like we can relate so much. You know, um, those stories are always good. Like people would always look for those kind of stories, even the like like tragic stories. Uh, I'm not sure if you knew about the uh, the American Idol guy that won uh, recently. Uh, he had, he had a story with his. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he won because of the story, man. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's sad that his dad passed, but um, that really helped him, you know, achieve. Because people want to see him succeed, yeah. because of his story of his uh, upbringing, you know. And uh, it's always rewarding in a way too to see someone. Um, strive for um, something that they lost or uh, which you know rejection um, it's great to, to see this to see and you know, uh, you know people it's good. people like two stories right very simple the uh, the underdog winning people love that story right and that's what this yeah. was and people also like like to see their heroes fall <laughs> people love those um, two stories man uh yeah uh can you give me an example? Like, so so this story, right? Um, fighting through all, all the adversity. And then uh, people like seeing, like, uh, let's say, like Biden, right? He wins. Oh, great. You know? And then yeah. now he's in office. Oh, man, he's a dumbass, you know? Or or the story of Trump. Oh, you know, he wins. He's going to save America. And then, oh, you know, he's getting into trouble with the law, right? People like to see their heroes fall. Or, or like those, you know, dr- dr- dramas. So... Sadly, but true. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know if I, I don't know. Maybe people really do enjoy it, but I, I don't know if I really find enjoyment out of that. Do you? Do you f- find enjoyment out of that? Uh, not, not really. No. Um. Do is there is there is there something that you like personally like, you know? Find enjoyment of like things like that. That's a fallen, something like fallen that you feel like. Oh man, like I'm glad that happened, or like, oh that's cool. I kind of happy that happened in a way. Uh, <laughs> I think I think uh, something similar to that, right? Would be like I, I hope all my exes, you know, continue to stay where they're at in life. I hope they don't win, but I hope they don't lose either, you know, just to stay stagnant. Because <laughs> the, the heartbreak, <laughs> the heartbreak. Yeah. That's, uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's evil, dude. That's, that's so evil, dude. Don't win, don't lose. Just live in a uh, uh, mediocre life of just nothingness. <laughs> How do you how do you think um why why do you think that is that you that you want them to fail in a way? It's just it's just man, like like those so those relationships, man, I gave well in, in that in that time anyways, right? I gave I gave everything. Or I felt like I gave I gave everything, you know. I was willing to be one hundred and then I, it was just never reciprocated. And then so I was just kinda like fuck them, you know. Fuck them. But, I learned from from those relationships, but fuck them still. <laughs> do, you, do you do you think it's like uh it's like a like like a I prove you like I am I am fucking the best like I am the best. Yeah, there's a little bit of that <laughs> resentment of, of, yeah, okay. of you rejected me or or it didn't work out because you know of um, I wasn't who I am in the future, right? Yeah, you didn't yeah. see where I could be, you know. It's like now you don't get the best version of me, man. You know, so I hope yeah. you stay where you're at. There's a little bit of resentment, yeah. That's a little cool. bit of that uh, uh, vengeance, you know. That's cool. Um, okay, I think I I I know what you mean, man. I I feel. I mean, if I really dig deep, I think I would feel that way in a way. Um, yeah. But obviously, um, like we, we try not to care about it, right. It, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It, it, it doesn't occupy my mind. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't matter. 
But when I see you, <laughs> you also gonna see my Bugatti, baby. <laughs> hey, you said it first, man. Uh, but when I see you, though, I'm gonna make sure you see me in my Bugatti. Uh, oh, dude, I tell you, I did this one time, right? It was uh, when I was working at my valet job. I saw my ex, yeah. you know, who who had the kid, my, you know, who had the kid. Yeah. And then uh, we just made eye contact real quick, and I was just like, "Oh shit, that's her," you know. And then I just went went about my, you know, my business, and she was still driving the same car, and she was still, I think it was like maybe two years later or some shit like that. Um, but man, I was just like, man. I'm just, it, it, it made me see, you know, that she ain't doing shit with her life. But then yeah, it also yeah. made me see, I ain't doing that much with my life either. <laughs> I'm getting, Nothing that's I'm getting much. mad over a kid and driving a Mercedes, man. I ain't doing shit with my life either, man. I was just like, fuck, man. Shit. <laughs> and then, and then I moved to Oshkosh. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. That's funny, bro. Yeah. Um... Yeah, man, it's, it sucks to see them, um, like, you know, like, like doing things, doing better than you. <laughs> like, dude, like, damn, like, you really got it that way? You, really uh, you know, because, like, yeah. what, what, what would go through my mind is, like, damn, dude, they're, they left me. You know, it, it's, it's kind of like, oh, man, was I holding them down, right? Was I, was I the anchor in their life or, you know? Oh, I was yeah. like, oh. I mean, I, I I don't keep tabs on my exes, but but that, her, that, that's like, probably what would go through my life is just or my mind was just like, damn, dude, you know, I was I was supposed to be the catch, you know. But when was, when was the last time you saw? Is that the last time you ever saw your exes? Yeah, uh, that's my only in, encounter. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Um, how about you? I haven't I haven't encountered any of my exes. I don't want to. Um, what's that song from Kasia? Uh, oh, it's something about like seeing each other, like across the street or something like that. Um, sad song, sad song. Um, uh, I, I know yeah. one song that I really like is uh by CeeLo CeeLo Green. I see you driving around town with the girl I love, yeah, and I'm like, hey. fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I like, I do, I love like that song too. Dude. Yeah. When I think about my ex, I'm like, yeah, that's my anthem right there, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, but uh, I did run into my ex one time at uh, Nemhai, oh. and um, it was it was kind of awkward, bro. It was kind of awkward. Yeah. She was with her cousin or her friend or something like that. She was buying uh, something. I was buying noodles, and I was right behind her at the register. I was like, oh, shit, that's her. Um. Like I gave her like a dead stare, and I was like, "Uh, I don't know what to do." <laughs> and then she she kind of got nervous, and she forgot like she forgot the groceries, her her groceries, and she just took off, and the groceries were still on the the thing, yeah, on the desk or the whatever the register. Wow. Um, and she ran off and ran back, and I was like, "Yeah, she she's nervous." Yeah, I was nervous too, but um, that was that, yeah, that was the last time I saw her. Wow, that's crazy. I still smash though. If you see this, call me up. <laughs> hey man, I need some dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to turn. I'm gonna have to lower my standards, man. Next week, dude. <laughs> lower your standards, baby. Oh. Lower your standards. <laughs> how can, how contradicting what we preach uh. and what we also preach. Oh my god, what message are we trying to, uh. what message are we trying to put out? <laughs> Uh, be better. You're a better man. You're the treasure. You're the treasure. <laughs> and then the other message: uh, lower your standards, baby. <laughs> you got uh, it, man. Uh, shit, oh, man. Hey, man. We trying to we trying to diversify our audience, man. That's what that's what we doing. We throwing a net, uh, diversifying. <laughs> like un undecisive uh, simps and 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 a alphas. <laughs> Ah uh, shit, man! Oh, shit. Mega the mega the mega betas betas. That's hilarious, dude. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not gonna call myself that. No way. I'm a fucking alpha. Oh, man. That's <laughs> uh, all right, man. Uh, uh, is there is there anybody else on the on the chat that said anything? 
Hey man, if you're watching, man, say hello. Say uh, say what you like about this episode. Uh, if you had any question, uh, shoot it. Now's the time before we close out. It's almost nine thirty. Shoot it up, guys. We um, I know some of you guys are lurking, and um, don't be shy. <laughs> Shoot, shoot it, man. Um, but there, yeah, there's uh, there's some quite a people in and out on this live this this time. That's oh, right. they, they they took off. They took off. I'm not sure who was watching earlier. Okay. Um, but yeah, this episode was cool. Um, the next episode is gonna be better because I am planning to. Uh, I got you for next time. Next episode. Another one of your watching pranks. Out? Another one of your stupid ass. Uh, that's that's for another one, man. That's it's too soon. It's too soon. I can't I can't do it back to back. This is gonna be too predictable. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I gotta be unpredictable. You know. So cool. Um, but yeah, man. This episode was cool. Um, and if you guys are watching, join our uh, Patreon and our Discord. We have lots and stuff, lots of cool stuff going on in there. Uh, we talk about everything and anything on the Discord. And uh, if, yeah, join us. The link is on the uh, link tree that we have here. Um, and check us out. And we're pretty big on TikTok too. So join our TikTok. Uh, watch our most exclusive uh, content on TikTok. And um, yeah, join us there. Yeah, with that being said, man, uh, another episode this is episode 14. 14 weeks, man, we've been doing this. Um, I look forward to many, many more. Uh, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We out. Peace out, guys. Love you guys. Peace.